Hi, this is Brian from NoKick.com, and I have here the Mako GL Shock stock. I want to let you have a closer look at this. Uh, this is their AR-15 or AR-10 uh, collapsible butt stock called the GL Shock. You can see the uh, the name right there, and it works uh, collapsible stock. It has a uh, actuating lever that actually operates on the front here and this one is their cheek riser model you can see this cheek riser you can just loosen this nut here with your finger and raise and lower the cheek riser if you need that and it uh, if you raise it up the uh, AR charging handle can go underneath it so that it doesn't interfere with that it's got a QD uh, sling swivel socket on both sides and a rubber butt pad the rubber butt pad is removable, so you can remove it, and there's a battery storage compartment underneath. And there's an internal tension device that um, basically it's these tabs right here on both sides that pinch inward, and uh, that's to allow it to fit both a mil spec stock and a commercial spec stock. Fits a little tighter on the commercial spec because they are a little bit bigger in diameter, but uh, also fits the uh, mil spec stocks pretty well too. And the reason it's called the GL shock is uh, a unique feature of it is a shock absorbing capability that it has a uh, spring inside of it that will allow the stock to compress on the buffer tube while you shoot it so the uh, the gun can uh, basically move into the buffer or into the uh, stock give you an idea with this cutaway model here you can see the, the blue spring right here and that's their recoil spring for the stock so when it's locked into the buffer tube like this it's in its normal position and the firearm recoils the buffer tube here will slide into the stock about a half an inch as it recoils and that soaks up some of the recoil, takes the sting out of it, especially on a, a heavy recoiling gun, and uh, helps soften things a little bit. Uh, it does not, it's a pretty strong spring, so it works good for 308s or your, um, especially like your 458 SOCOMs or uh, 499 Letner Weiss, the 50 Beowulf, all those, um, or your 308s. Um, the heavier the recoil, the better results you're going to feel from it. On a 223, there's not enough recoil, 223 or 300 blackout, not enough recoil to really cycle the spring, so you're not going to notice the recoil benefit, although it's still a good stock. But um, on the heavy recoiling guns, it's a good way to go to soften that recoil. And just to show you a little bit of how that spring cycles, if you push down on the buffer tube, you can see the buffer tube is pushing into the stock against that spring. And um, on a 308, it compresses uh, about halfway, about a quarter inch, uh, three eighths of an inch. On a really heavy kicking gun, like a shotgun or maybe a uh, 50 Beowulf, um, then it might compress about a half an inch. But uh, all in all, a really innovative stock, and in that uh, the recoil capability is something that uh, no other stock on the market has. So worthwhile feature, and again, you can get it. In this standard model uh, without the cheek riser or this model with the cheek riser it's about ten dollars more for the cheek riser model and uh, give you a good idea what the GL shock can do and just to show you the uh, battery compartment on the back that tab slides right off and there's the uh, watertight battery compartment right here so all in all, pretty cool stock. Worth a, worth a look. And you can find these on nokick.com along with all our other AR accessories. And if you have any questions, feel free to go to our website and find our contact info and, uh, and get a hold of us. And uh, we'll help you out in any way we can. We appreciate it. Thank you.